What is going on guys? Eze9 here and welcome back to weekly BDO. Now there wasn't a huge amount of changes to BDO this week, but the main one is that the elephant tier twos are now, you know, attainable within the guild system. Uh, basically they just have more health, so little tank care elephants if you want those for your wars. The new Striker class. Okay, so let's talk about the Striker class, since we really didn't last week. Um, the Striker class looks like it's going to be a very unique playstyle, um, and, you know, yeah, basically being Goku, which is, you know, getting a lot of people to want to re-roll to him. Personally, I don't think I will be, um, but that's because, you know, I'm so far in with the Ranger, and honestly, I just like the Ranger's playstyle that I don't want to change to, you know, someone who's fighting. Um, now let's talk about the overall balance of Black Desert, because this is, you know, a pretty debated topic for the most part. Um, in my thoughts, the game is really close to being balanced, there's just a couple classes that are just a little too strong, and you know, that can be adjusted really easily, but instead they're kind of doing something that's a little different, and I don't know why they're doing it, but they are. Um, instead of nerfing, you know the mage, the witch, and the DK, they're actually buffing all the other classes up, which, you know, okay, I, I can see that, but wouldn't that become a whoever attacks first situation, uh, and less skill again? I don't know. Um, I guess the question is, will these DP buffs, because, you know, they're working on getting DP to be, you know, a viable thing to build. Uh, which I still think it's pretty viable to build. I mean, you definitely see noticeable uh, survivability with building DP. But people want more, you know? They want to be able to build a tank and be tanky, and I get it. I really do get it. So, I mean, the main thing is that with these changes, how is it going to affect the game? I think if they do it correctly, it'll end up being a lot more balanced, a lot more fun to play. Um... The main thing is going to be uh, where the DK is sitting, honestly. I, I think the Wizard and Witches aren't far off from being balanced. They just have, you know, their vulnerability when casting is just a little ridiculous. That's about it. Um, but DK, honestly, where they are right now, they're sitting in a pretty good spot. They're not too strong in group fights. I mean, they can be if you let them. And, I mean, if you focus them down, they're not too bad to get rid of. Um... The main thing with them is just, you know, stay moving so they can't land that stun on you. Uh, if they land that uh, AoE stun on you, you're kind of uh, just kind of screwed. I mean, there's no really getting out of it, and that's probably one of their strongest parts of their kit. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are looking forward to all the new things coming to Black Desert in the future here. And also a new female class with, you know, basically like chain scythes is what it looks like to me. Hopefully that'll come as well here soon. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys want to see. Recommend some games to me. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace.